It was about 2.30 Wednesday afternoon when Tower of Terror suddenly stopped working. The ride shut down. There it is right over there. Disney tells us it was a simple computer malfunction. But we've been told by people on the inside that it was something much more serious. Our undercover home video camera watched as guests were kept out this afternoon from the most popular ride at Disney MGM Studios. It had been more than 24 hours after Tower of Terror turned off. The ride, officially open only five weeks, has already had what some call a potentially dangerous failure. This is a Disney employee who doesn't want to be identified. He was one of dozens of employees who went inside the tower after the elevator shaft wall collapsed. What did you actually see? I actually saw a wall that was sucked down of place by the pressure of the elevator falling or pushed out of place. It was pushed approximately three and a half to four feet. Today, from Sky 6, we could see construction crews delivering supplies. Sources inside Disney tell us workers noticed something was wrong yesterday when pieces of plaster fell down the elevator shaft just after a car passed through. Some believe the guests in that car were closer to danger than they knew. If the wall had gone the other direction down into the shaft, it probably would have smashed everything in the shaft. And you mean like people in the ride? People in the car. Disney's own fire department lowered a structural engineer down the other shaft to see if there were cracks in that wall. Apparently, he found none. But tonight, some employees tell us they wonder how safe this ride really is. I would not ride the ride. I would not ride it based on the fact that people knew the walls were flexing and nothing had been done about it since opening.